Unbending Road. I am so glad you could join me today as we make this journey of life together. No matter where you go in life, two things are for certain. You will eventually come to a bend in the road, and God will always see you through. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you with me today. Last week I shared with you about the prayers of a six-year-old and God answered those prayers with a Huffy mountain bike for Christmas. This week I want to share with you about a broken nose of all things. If you're watching on YouTube and if you have been encouraged by this message, I would love it if you would hit that thumbs up button. You can also click the subscribe button so that you will know when I upload my next video. In this way, we work together to encourage each other as we travel life together and navigate the bends in our road. Eating dinner with my daughter Erin or listening to her breathe was, was not easy. Under the advice of family and friends, I finally took her to an ear, nose, throat specialist in the spring of 99, and the doctor took Erin in and explained that the first thing was simply to look at her nose and see what it looked like. The doctor used a special light, and when she looked into Erin's nose, her response was kind of surprising. She said, wow, you generally see a nose like this on a little boy, not a little girl. I asked what the problem was, and the doctor answered my question with another question. She asked, when did Erin break her nose? This kind of took me by surprise, and I, I began to think, but I, I couldn't think of a time. Later, we began talking about this and realized that back in July, about seven years earlier, we were at a CFO camp and I was giving my, our littlest one a bath. And suddenly, out of the blue, this very familiar scream came from out in the hallways. I recognized it immediately as Aaron was in trouble. I grabbed Danny out of the tub with, in a towel and I handed him to somebody else and I ran out of the room to find Aaron holding her face. And as I took her hand away, I could see that she had scraped up her face somehow. And through her tears, she explained that she had been out on the monkey bars and she had fallen onto her face. Well, while Grandma Ruth was getting her some ice, I sat on the floor of our room and I held her in my lap and I prayed with her and I began to sing, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word. I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Aaron quieted down as I sang, and I noticed that the swelling began to go down and the bruising cleared up. And it wasn't long before she was off on the playground again. I told this story to the doctor and asked if it was possible to break a nose and have real no visible signs. She said, no, not generally, but this was the only time that I can think that it could have happened. Erin summed it up in this way. She said, God healed me when I didn't even know I was broken. You know, we spend a lot of time praying for healing, asking God to heal our friends, our family, our loved ones, ourselves. Sometimes I believe that God heals us when we don't even know we're broken. And that might include our physical body. It might include our heart. It might include our mind. We need to be thankful today for the things that God has saved us from, has healed us from, has revealed to us, things he's put in our path that we didn't even know we needed. I want to encourage you today to take some time and do just that. Just be thankful 
for those things that you may not even be aware of. The answers to prayers you didn't even have to pray. I hope I've encouraged you today to keep praying, to know that God answers your prayers. And when you when you are in the bend of the road and things seem like chaos, know that God is with you. And take that time to be in prayer. Have a good day. If you have not done so already, connect with me on my website or on Facebook and let me know how I can pray for you as you navigate the bend in your road. I hope you have been encouraged today and I pray that when you see the bend in your road, you will not be afraid, but will take the hand of God and keep walking. You are not alone. See you next time.